Function, the determinant of a matrix is a scalar value that is used in many matrix operation. Now, one important thing that you need to remember about determinant is that the determinant is only applicable for square matrices. So for today, we're going to find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix and a 3 by 3 matrix. Starting with a given matrix, which is a 2 by 2 matrix, if we have matrix A, given that matrix A contains A, B, C, D, the formula in finding the determinant of matrix A given by this notation is equal to first diagonal or the product of the first diagonal minus the product of the second diagonal. So we'll have A times D minus B times C. And this is the formula that we are using today in finding the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So let's have some examples. So now our first examples, we have three matrices. We have matrix A, B, and C. Now all these matrices are all 2 by 2 matrix. And using the formula that we uh, presented on the previous board, Finding the determinant of matrix A is pretty simple. So to find the determinant of A given by this notation, which is like absolute value of A, is the first diagonal or the product of the first diagonal. So we have 2 times 4 minus the second diagonal, which is 1 times 3. Now, 2 times 4 is 8 and 1 times 3 is 3. Therefore, the determinant of absolute or determinant of A is equal to 5. So that is, or this single value right here, is the determinant of matrix A, which we will use in our future matrix operation. Now, in finding the determinant of our second matrix, which is 4, negative 3, 2, and negative 1, we'll just follow the same rule that we did in our first example. So we'll find the product of the first diagonal, which is 4 times negative 1, and the product of the second diagonal, which is negative 3 times 2. Now subtract them will give you negative 4 minus negative 6. Therefore, the determinant of matrix B will be equal to 2. So for letter C, using the same rule that we did on the first two example, the determinant of C is simply 1, because 1 times 1 is 1, and 0 times 0 is 0, and subtract them will give you 1 as your answer. And this is how we uh, find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now the rule of finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix is slightly complicated. We're still using or focusing on the diagonals of the square matrix, but this time we'll have more diagonals compared to the 2 by 2 matrix. So let's have our first example in finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Now we only have one example on this board in, and we're going to find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. So the matrix that we're going to be working on is matrix B which contains 2, 3, 1 for our first column, 1, negative 1, 1 for the second column, and 0, 4, 2 for our third column. Now to find the determinant of the matrix or a 3 by 3 matrix, we need to copy our original matrix and add the first two columns of the matrix at the end of your original matrix. So once again, you just need to copy the first, I mean the original matrix, and add the two columns, which is column one and column two, and add it to your um, first matrix. So this is the first step, setting up the matrix that we're gonna be working on in finding its determinant. So to find the first diagonals, since we have here several columns, unlike before that we only have two columns, finding the main diagonals will have the first column right here, which is 2, negative 1, and 2, the second group, which is 1, 4, 1, and the third group, which is 0, 3, and 1. So we'll have three diagonals for our first group. And you need to multiply them and combine them by addition. So in that case, the first step is to multiply 2, negative 1, and 2, which gives you negative 4. Add it to 1 times 4 times 1, which gives you 4, plus 0 times 3 times 1, which gives you 0. And simplifying this term right here, the main diagonals will be equal to 0. Now, this is just the first half of our solution. The second half is to find the product and then add them together for the other diagonals. So if we covered the first diagonal 
going this way, we're now going to cover the other way or other direction. So the first group of diagonals that we'll have will be 1 times 3 times 2 given by the second diagonal. So we have 1, 3, 2, we have 2, 4, 1, and we have 0, negative 1, and 1. So these are the three groups of numbers that we're going to multiply and add to get our second diagonal. So if we have 1 times 3 times 2, it's going to be 6. 2 times 4 times 1 is giving us 8, and 0 times negative 1 and 1 is giving us 0. Now add them all up and you'll have 14. Now we're not finished with our work yet, so after finding the main diagonals and the second diagonals, we'll subtract the main diagonal with the second diagonal to find uh, the determinant of our matrix B. So our final solution here to find the determinant of matrix B, it's just 0 minus 14, which gives us negative 14. Therefore, the determinant of matrix B given by a 3 by 3 matrix right here is equal to negative 14.